Photos love to suck up space and make your devices go so slowly. The solution? Compress your photos. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. We now all love taking a lot of photos, but after a while we can have so many photos on our computers that they slow to the speed of a slug on salt. There is nothing more scary as well as that little message saying you are running out of storage space. The solution is to compress all of your photos. Compressing your images can reduce their file size by up to 80%, making them take up far less space and freeing up some all important space for new photos. Why compress your photos? So what are the benefits of compressing your photos? Obviously, it will reduce the file size so you have more space on all of your devices, but it will also make them load quicker on any websites or content you load them into. And the opposite you might think happens when it comes to quality. It will actually improve the image quality because of the way the compression algorithms work. They are designed to remove anything that is unnecessary or useless data in your files while keeping all the essential stuff. For the Mac. For the Mac, there are a couple of options. The first is the inbuilt tool, which will compress them a little bit. And I mean a little bit. To use the built-in tool, open up Finder, go to the images that you want to compress, select them, and then right click or control click, however you've set up your Mac selection options, and then in the menu, select compress. And then it will just do it. It will put it in a zip folder called archive. And as you can see, the difference is not exactly mind blowing. So to make some more savings, we need to look at an app. For the Mac, I like Image Optum, which is free and you can compress files up to 50%. So open up the app, but before you drag any photos into the data window, you need to change some of the settings and make sure you don't lose some of that really important data. So go to Image Optum and select Preferences. Then untick Strip JPEG, as believe me, that is data you're gonna wanna keep. And change the quality and optimization levels to whatever you want. And then you just need to drag and drop the files and they will be compressed in a jiffy. If you want to keep the original size, because this is all about saving space on your computer, you could drag and drop them onto an external hard drive and then you've still got the originals. For the PC. Like the Mac, there is also an inbuilt compression tool, but exactly like the Mac version, it's not exactly staggering with the file savings. So open the folder that contains the images that you want to compress in File Explorer. Select all the images and right click. Then go down to select send to compressed zip folder and it will create a zip folder of the images that you selected. So we need to go and have a look at another app as well. A simple and to the point one for the PC is the mass image compressor. To compress the files, you simply point it to the folder of photos you want to compress. Select your compression parameters for quality and dimensions, and it will recommend a folder to compress the files into, or just press go and it will put them in the same folder that they are in. You can then even move the high resolution files to a separate hard drive or delete them if you don't need them. Just look at that space saving. Bonus tip for your iPhone. 
for all those iPhone users out there, I have a top tip to save you space on your phone. Make sure you are not storing the originals on your phone. Don't know if you are? Then head on over to the settings. So head on over to the settings and select photos. And make sure that optimize iPhone storage is ticked. This means that your photos library will stay in the iCloud until you want to look or send a photo. So essentially you are compressing your photos catalog. So there you have it. Why and how to compress your photos on your Mac and PC. Do you know any other great tools to help you save space on your computer from your space sucking photos? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.